Would you like to stream all your friends gaming footage that they are playing right now to your OBS or Prism Live Studio so that your viewers on Twitch, Kick and YouTube or all the other platforms can enjoy what you as a group or collective is doing? Well, this is a tutorial for you. Let's hop into it. Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Ranch. Quick, um, this stream is powered by GameOverGaming.co.za, a South African based gaming um, movement for geeks of all cultures and walks of life. So please, if you want to get in touch with us, go to GameOverGaming.co.za. And that's it. Now we're going to hop in quickly to the, the video. So I want to stream my friend's footage from Germany and I'm sitting right here in South Africa. But also I got a friend in Paris and I got a friend in, in a different part of, of um, South Africa and a friend in Cape Town and so on. We got a, like let's say about eight different people in a different places around the world and I want to stream what they are playing on my OBS. How to do that? Well, first of all, conference calling is not very good because it's not peer-to-peer. -peer. Um, Skype, it's only you can view or screen share one person at a time and the same with Discord. So how do I do that to tile it all together? Well, with this link is provided in the description below. It's called video.ninja. We're going to quickly go through this. All right, I'm going to switch off my camera and then we're going to go through step by step how to work with this. Right, first we're going to do a create a room. Um, I'm going to call it for test sake, just testing. And then I'm not going to add a password. You can do so. You can also add extra parameters with this. And then also I'm going to select preferred video encoder to H.264. All right, so that's the preferred one. If you're an Intel user, it's so lucky that um, Intel graphics card has the AV1 encoder, but we as um, NVIDIA and AMD Shields, we don't have that premium AV1 encoder, so I wish I had that. Right, enter the room, we're gonna create that. It's a room is already claimed with somebody else. First person join the room, sign directive, refresh, okay. We're going to move this as back, reload, because there's already somebody that claimed the room. Let's call it testing a go, go, SG clan testing. There we go. Okay, so that's it. Bam. Let's create that. That should be a room nobody has. Okay. <clears throat> then I'm gonna click on copy the link. Now the cool thing about this is um the host can send this link through WhatsApp, Discord, um, email, and so on. Bear in mind, all you need with this is using Edge. Everybody has to use the Edge browser for the specific demonstration purposes. And then recommended Prism Live Studio. But if you want to um, use for simplicity sake, OBS. But I prefer to use Prism Live Studio. So I highly recommend it. Uh, everybody else, just use Edge browser. Do not use Firefox. Do not use Chrome. Do not use uh, Prime. That is, it's all... Um, yeah, don't use the other browsers, period. Um, you can experiment, but I'm pretty much sure it's not going to be stable. Brave included, sorry. Um, so use Edge. It's built in in Microsoft. Very simple. There is specific reasons, but I don't want to go into detail right now. To copy the link, send it to that person. I'm going to send it to myself. I'm going to open that. And then this is what should be popping up on your friend's side. He's going to click this. He's going to... Bind his communications. Uh, I'm going to use my NVIDIA program and then also my my audio. So I'm testing. Right, the audio is coming through. Good. So I'm going to share my screen. Go this window, entire screen. So I'm going to click on my secondary screen and then also share the system audio. Please click that. So so that the person that's hosting this this room can hear your audio and adjust that if he needs to do it for his stream. All right. This is perfect for for esports. Share. Right, now I shared this. Now I'm going to go over to my control room, the person that's going to using the control room. There I am. I can mute, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to mute that um, so it doesn't loop. But if I unmute it, I'll show you later how what what will happen with OBS. And there's a link below. I'm going to copy that link. First, then I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to drag over my OBS. Then I'm going just going to quickly delete this. And then I'm going to add a source. The source will be a browser source. I'm going to call it a test. And then I'm going to paste that URL in. 
920, the, the aspect ratio of resolution, there we go. And then I'm gonna say control via OBS. Um, some days it's good to do that, but for this demonstration purposes, we're not gonna click refresh browser when it comes live. Okay. Right, so now what I'm seeing should be the secondary screen. You see two different screens. So if I use my mouse, that should be there. Okay, because it's streaming right through the internet peer to peer. I'm doing it locally, but obviously uh, you can do it from Germany to South Africa, all around the world. Your friends can be sitting anywhere in the world and they can be streaming to you directly. Right, and then lastly, if I want to control my audio, I will show you guys what happens when I switch on. Uh, I'm going to click this specific mute button, unmute button, and you will see on this tab what happens to the audio. Okay, okay just, just click, click now, now and, and you can see, see in the end you, end you most probably, probably will hear a, a double, double loop. Now I'm going to unclick it, and that's it. Then it was streaming audio and footage at the same time. You can see I'm playing with the screen on the other side, and there's very little latency. It's very clear as well. Okay, so... Um, I really hope everybody was enjoying this particular tutorial and I hope you have any more questions for me. Um, please, please guys, follow me on Twitch, The Whiskey Ranch on Twitch. I need a thousand followers um, and as well on TikTok, The Whiskey Ranch also need a thousand followers. So please support me there. If, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, oh well, we'll try it next time. This is just a quick tutorial how to get multiple screens. And here's the cool caveat about this method. You can add as many friends as you want. You just keep on adding browser sources to your stream because um, you'll be sending a lot of invites and your friends will just say yes and then that's it. And you can be controlling the feeds like this. Very simple, very easy, especially when you're going to do large esports and conference calls and so on. Simple as that. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for viewing this video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good day. Adios, amigos. Bye-bye.